Hello friends, today we will see the basic concepts and tricks related to prime implicants, essential prime implicants and non-essential prime implicants. So starting with the concepts related to the this implicant. So first what is implicant? So implicant is basically a grouping of one or more main terms. Okay. And this implicants can be prime implicants, it can be EPI, essential prime implicants and it can be NEPI. So first what is prime implicant? So prime implicant is basically a best possible grouping. Implicant is grouping of one or more main terms, okay, but, but prime implicant is best possible grouping that is what KMAP supports, right? And essential prime implicants, essential prime implicants is a prime implicants which have, which have at least one unique main terms, one unique main term which is not grouped with another prime implicant, okay, and then what can be NEPI? So NEPI is basically a prime implicants which have all main terms grouped with other prime implicants. Okay, so it will have each element grouped with with other prime implicants. So let us uh, see this concepts with some examples. So basic example is suppose I have this K map. 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 okay if I want to do grouping here so with the concepts related to the K map first we should go by the uh, maximum grouping okay so first start with octet then C for chord then C for pairing okay so first we will see here is there any octet present no no octet present so we will now see for chord uh, you can see clearly this here it is a chord and now we will see for pairs so pair will be this one this one this one this one okay so let us name it one two three four five okay so starting with this one is this a uh, implicant yes it is a grouping of one or more in terms is this a prime implicant yes it is a best possible grouping is this a EPI? Is there any one main term which is not paired with another prime implicants? No. So one is a prime implicants, but it is not a EPI. Okay. So let's check for uh, whether it is an EPI or not. So uh, whether each main terms are paired with other main, uh, other prime implicants. So yes, each ones are paired with another prime implicant. So it is an NEPI non-essential prime implicant so let's check for second one second one whether it is a implicant yes it is a impl implicant whether it is a prime implicant yes it is the best possible group whether it is a epi so here we can say this one can be uh, is not paired with another prime implicants okay so it is a epi so if it is a epi it can't be an epi okay so we, will, we won't check for any third one same same as of second so it will also be prime implicants epi okay Fourth one also same, fifth one also same. So fourth and fifth will also be prime implicants and EPI and not non EPI. Okay. <coughs> so now we will see the sums which have came in gate exam. So first sum is consider the Boolean function f w x y z equals to w y plus x y plus w bar x y z w bar x bar y plus x z plus x bar y bar z bar. So question is which one of the following is the set of EPI. So basically we need to find out the set of EPI. So first let us make a key map of this. Hope so you know K map. Uh, w X Y Z. Okay. So first one is W Y. So W is one, Y is one. W is one, Y is one. So, so this this W and this one. So this 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 this. Okay. Now X Y X Y is one, Y one. So it will be this four ones. Then W bar X Y Z. W bar W is zero. W is 0, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, so this one, and then W bar, X bar, Y, 
w bar x bar y is 1 so 1 1 so this will be 1 ok now xz x is 1 z is 1 z is 1 here so these two ones then x bar y bar z bar so x bar y bar z bar x bar y bar z bar this one ok so let us start with the grouping so this is octet this will be pod and uh, yes this can also be pod ok so we want to set up API so first let us see whether these are API or not so in this pod these two ones these two ones are unique which are not paired with another prime applicant so it uh, this one is API uh, in this one also this pod uh, two ones are there which are not paired with another prime applicant so this one is also API uh, in this also these two ones are there which are not paired with any other prime applicant so this one was also API so uh, what we can write is for this octet y uh, for this pod this pod will be x x and then z and for this pod x bar z bar ok so basically what I have done in this k map I will just brief about this k map what I have done actually I just uh, saw the uh, common part uh, in this pairing so in this the common part was this one so which represent y and in this pod the common part was x this one x and uh, in this it was z so xz and uh, for this pod it was x bar z bar ok so the answer will be d now we will see that uh, what can be the maximum number of prime implicants in 3 variable 4 variable then we will go for maximum number of epi in 3 variable 4 variable so starting with the maximum pi in 3 variable so maximum pi what can be the maximum pi in 3 variable k map so what it can be like uh, if suppose I kept 1 1 1 here 0 here 1 0 1 1 ok so in this if we start pairing uh, no octet can be formed no chord can be formed just pair can be done so this can be done 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 and this can be done ok here we are not uh, we are not neglecting the redundant uh, redundant grouping ok so we are considering redundant also ok uh, in the previous example what I have taken uh, this chord was redundant right but uh, still we have taken for uh, uh, for this epi for checking of epi and prime implicants ok so now in this if we count this pi so 1 2 3 4 5 and this one 6 so the maximum pi for 3 variable it is 6 ok now let us uh, see the maximum epi in 3 variables so maximum epi in 3 variables so it should be epi so i'm just creating the maximum epi so for that what we will do we will just put one here so this will be one epi 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 you can see here this uh, all our prime implicants there is one unique one present which are not paired with another prime implicant so yeah okay so we can say that these are epi okay so maximum epi in three variable is is four and uh, in four variable it will be I'm just copying pasting this two rows to another two rows so it will be like one 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 so basically it is one two three four five six seven eight so maximum API in four variable is eight so you can uh, actually generalize this so maximum API in 3 variable it can be uh, written as 2 raised to 3 minus 1 this is basically 2 raised to n minus 1 so n is 3 here n is equal to 3 variable so 2 raised to 3 minus 1 is basically 2 raised to 2 4 and for 4 variable it will be 2 raised to n minus 1 so it will be 2 raised to 4 minus 1 
2 raised to 3 which is basically 8 okay so thank you friends